life is a casino. We don't sing, we just hit them off with c -Nos. And you can bet it all. I'm gonna be the last one standing tall. Joey Molino. What's up, Luigi? Life is a casino. We don't sing, we just hit them off with c -Nos. Tell us about And you can bet it all. I'm gonna be the last one standing tall. Joey Molino. with Joey Molino. This is Little Snuff from the Skinny Joey Merlino Podcast. We would like to thank you for watching. Head on over to Patreon for the full episode. What's up, everybody? This is Little Snuff from the Skinny Joey Merlino Podcast. And episode 32 is sponsored by Cody McConnell, who has the best promo products you could ever have. The key change that you see, the Skinny with Joey Merlino and Little Snuff are from Cody. They're fast. They're reliable and they're effective. When you get something like this in the mail, you're not going to throw it out like your regular promo product. It's not a flyer. It's not a piece of paper. It's a keychain. They also have air fresheners and much more. Make sure you check out their website. The link is listed below. Thank you, and make sure you head on over to Patreon for the full episode. This is episode 32, The Skinny with Joey Merlino, Little Snuff, Adam, his beautiful wife, Ro. Thank you for having us back. Course. Yes, we're love back. it. Absolutely. Listen, we're still coming down to Boca. You like, gotta come. That's not come a to Boca. Right. Sure. I'm here. So no, we're I know. Totally well, it's cold here. It's cold. I here. know. But so when we leave Wednesday, it's gonna be. They said 80s. Okay. Yeah, you're just gonna miss, yeah, miss it. Everywhere we go, it's cold. Yeah. No, no matter where we're at. Pours. Rain, <laughs> Philly, snows. Boca, anywhere we go, to temperatures. Okay, we love you guys. No offense, but we yeah, gotta go. We gotta go. Absolutely. No, we're gonna have you. Gotta come to Boca. Yeah. Come down. It's a good time. Bring the baby. Yes, definitely. Love it. Yeah, no, it's beautiful. So how's everything going? I mean, we talked a little bit off camera about what this month represents. And for everybody who doesn't know, you want to introduce yourself, tell them a little bit of background on how you and Joey know each other? Absolutely. So just for everybody to know, April is the month of second chances, right? This is significant for us because I definitely got a huge second chance. Was serving a 213-year sentence. Never had any chance for parole, any hope of getting out. Uh, it took me 20 years, five months, 17 days to be exact, to finally win that second chance. I was granted compassionate release August 12, 2020. And listen, we hit the ground running. Rope pulled up to the jail, car packed. <laughs> it was like, we're going to Vegas, baby. Let's go. <laughs> See you later. God and bless. we did. Like, And it's been an amazing journey ever since. Um, we have an incredible life out here. And we're fortunate to, you know, be doing this podcast to uh, get to spend some time with some really amazing individuals. Right. I agree. So my case goes all the way back to 2000, and that's really where our paths. Yeah, that's where we met. 99, 2000. Yeah. I was pinched. He was pinched. <sighs> Thank God you're home. You rough, it. rough time, man. Yeah. Rough time. We talked about that a lot on the yeah, on the last, the last episode. Yeah. And it was a different era back then. Yeah. Um, you know, I look back. And so many of those individuals who ended up with the crazy sentences and, you know, what they were trying to do to you, yeah. same thing. What happened with Marquand? Did you get any play or no? It wasn't retroactive. It wasn't retroactive. And that's, see, that's the thing. Even when they make changes, <clears throat> and I was just explaining the law to some of the women. I go into the county jail here, right? Okay. Um, I spend a, a bit of time in there, and I always get questions like, well, man, if there was no chance, like, how did you get out? Right. Yeah. And explaining the law to them, because it doesn't make sense, sense. Right? right? It doesn't make sense that you could stack, you know, all these sentences and end up with a, a life sentence. And then it doesn't make sense that they would change the law, but it didn't actually apply. Right, right. Because it's not retroactive. So Crazy. when you explain that to someone, they say, listen, this law is bad. We're not going to do this anymore. Right. We'll never sentence someone like this again. But right. for everybody else, else you're fucked. Eh, you're, <laughs> you're, you're dead. Hit. You're Doesn't dead. that blow your mind? It does. It blows my How mind is every it day. Even a thing? It does. No, it's crazy. It's, it's politics, right? Yeah. Because politicians never want to make a law that goes retroactive, especially right. a criminal law, right? Because the first person they let me out and I do something, one little well, thing, yeah. they're gonna crucify me and they're gonna crucify right every politician who signed that oh. law into effect. Right. So if it's not made retroactive. Nobody ever knows. knows. Yeah. Like it's all speculation on, you know, right. what could have happened. And that's the scary thing. It's like kind of like you just said, if some were, if you were to do something wrong, they would make an example. Like we oh, gave yeah, him a probably. chance. Exactly. Now look, put him back in jail 
and you're never coming out again. That's thing. It's kind of like you, you feel like, are they rooting for that to happen? Because when you're doing stuff like this and you're you're serving the community good, and even with Joey, like you guys are doing all positive things right now. It's kind of like people wish you fail. Oh yeah. yeah, and that's the sad part in this world. That yeah. it really is. They're hoping we get killed, run over. It's it's plane it's crash it's, every yeah. day. It's, good, well, we I love it. Fuck them. We, we were just ta- we yeah. were talking about that yeah. earlier. Yeah. yeah, I mean, haters. how many haters come out uh, all day long? The more good you do, yeah. They the, hate you. The more haters. Yeah. It, 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 i never seen anything like it. I mean, I get threatened every he day. He gets threatened every day. <laughs> every day. Because of the podcast? Because of the podcast. Yeah, they want to beat me up no matter every, what. Is, you know, I'm going <laughs> to get him karate lessons. I'm going to get him karate lessons. Yeah. Stop. Every day. I'm going to get you karate he's lessons. He's going to pay for karate lessons, he told me. It's it's crazy. <laughs> but it's just like, we're, we're you guys, we're just trying to do a good thing. Like you just said, second chances. Even with me, with recovery. Like, I'm just clean and sober eight years. Like, I had a second chance at life. Wow. Congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it. So, like, we're we talk about good things. It's all positive. But to see... The comments, like we real, I barely ever read them, but it's just crazy to see like how hateful people are. No, they're sick. They really are. Well, you know, the funny thing is, I normally don't read the comments yeah. either. I, I get stuck in them. You, you get the stuck worst. in them, no. and I'm like, get out the comments. Get out. But we were just going back, and we were reading comments on the episode that we did on your our episode. They were amazing. Right. Oh, like, yeah. Damn, yeah. we should have read they, all these. Yeah. Listen, yeah. they loved you guys. They did. Like, everybody types the best show. Yeah. No, it really was. And everywhere we go, people are like Adam, two hundred thirteen years. Like they really, are, they're very interested, of course, in the story and how you guys knew each other. So it's crazy. That's why we couldn't wait to come back. And everybody's like, how she stuck by him, and she really had no idea about that kind of life. That's the story's just incredible. No, it's yeah. all, all true. And, like when we talk about Joey on the podcast and how like they just basically told you, say Joey Merlino told yeah. you to do it and you get out of jail. It <laughs> blows people's mind because like that, no way that happened. They don't yeah, believe happened. it. No. Yeah. Yeah. And they, and they got to hear it over and over, over and again, over, yeah. Right? yeah. You know what's funny? The comments, like the bad ones, I curse their mother. Yeah, he does. Like a bad one, I say something, I say, go fuck your mother. Your mother's a rat. Yeah, yeah. You, you know it's the rats doing it, you know what I mean? Yep. And, and they'll like, say something. I say, your mother's a rat. It's like, and the crazy part is, is like everybody's trying to do something positive. Even when the turkey drives him, you know, raise him money. We just gave a kid for leukemia. We raised $5,000 for him who became a fan, Damon, like yeah, for he, Joey. Like, the kid, I was, it was a message. I got him, I got the message, and the father texted me. He said, it was on Instagram, and he said, can my son FaceTime you? He's sick. So I said, yeah. I gave him my phone number, and he was in Children's Hospital getting the... Oh, man. He had this rare rare leukemia. Oh, so mm-hmm. 13 years old. Yeah. 13 year old kid. He had it. He thought it was like he got hurt playing basketball. It was hit. Mm-hmm. And he wound up being cancer, like like a rare cancer. Oh, God. And every day I used to FaceTime him. You got this. You got this, buddy. You know, he loved it. That's what yeah. you said? You yeah. got this? He, yeah. He, he's doing that's great a, now. That's my son's... Favorite line. Yeah. I got this. Yeah, got yeah. this. We it's encourage great. him to say that. Yeah, all you time. just gotta be You're gonna positive. You're gonna yeah. beat it. I love that. No, he's a beautiful kid. As soon God as he came him. out, we Thank took him to Celebrity's Pizza. Took him, him and his father pizza. We, you know, we raised money for him. You know, I got a comment. They said like, "Fuck him." You know, yeah, fuck like, him. could you Somebody imagine? Text me. How the fuck are you helping him? Fuck him. Like, what? Fucking sick, man. I told you, Crazy. Mo- I cursed their mothers every day. Yeah, it's fucking just, sick. Fucking people are sick for no reason. Thirteen-year-old kid with cancer. What it is? Say it to your face. Why are you helping him? I would never. Go on somebody else's platform and say something it's about them. It's just they're miserable. Not what sick. you're wearing, what your hair looks like, everything. I think well, it's your, a classic. Your hair is fucked up. <laughs> My hair's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Jealousy is <laughs> worse than cancer. Yeah. It is. Jealousy is yeah. where people are oh, jealous. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Worst. Uh, but they're now, miserable. They love it. They, they, they are miserable. They got life. Yeah. Now, talking about like positive stuff. What are you two guys doing <laughs> right now? Like, I know you just said that you go into the prisons mm-hmm. and you're, you know, you're helping people out that way. And I know you have to be involved in something yeah. like that. So the life's taking a different spiral. You know, what, what, are you guys, what are you guys doing now? So I'm still focusing on my nonprofit, Strong Prison Lives and Families. Love that. Helping the uh, people that are doing time on the outside. Yeah. So you're always giving back. Yeah. No matter what you have to do. How's going into the prisons and talking? Mm, interesting question, right? Yeah. So the majority of the time for me, because obviously I get it from people on the inside, they're like, man, how's it feel to come back in? I was like, it feels good because this was part of my plan. Okay. Right. Even when I had a life sentence, right. you know, I talked about when I get out, I'm going to use this experience to make sure that I'm doing something for others so that they don't end up in this same situation because I wish somebody would have done it for me when I was younger. Right. I just, you know, I didn't have any real guidance. Right. Yeah. Right? Um, so I get to go in there now and spending time with them is always like, I leave there feeling so inspired. Yeah. I don't ever feel any of the negative from my past. Mm -hmm. Right. Because again, this was part of my plan. 
This is Little Snuff from the Skinny Joey Merlino podcast. We would like to thank you for watching. Head on over to Patreon for the full episode.